hi, thank wrestling fans. This is Hammond, the original, the mercenary for hire. Rexor extraordinaire. And you're watching the UIWA recap. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to UIWA Weekly Recap. I'm your host, your friendly neighborhood reporter supreme, Axel Grease. Thank you for joining us this week on the program. We have three new affiliates to join the UIWA family. They are in no particular order. TIWF of Tennessee, IWF out of Alabama, and MWC out of the state of Mississippi. We welcome you to UIWA family. You know it will be a great contribution. If... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I was in a rush to get here, forgot to turn off my phone. Uh, wait a minute, this could be interesting. Uh, hello? Uh, what? No way! You're kidding! It happened! Uh, the, the, oh my, the, we're doing a show right now, you are absolutely sure! Uh, uh, I, I gotta call you back. I gotta call you. I gotta call you back. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we have just received breaking, breaking news. We're gonna cut to the action here, right quick. Call it back to producers. We'll be right back. First match of the show: White Trash Johnny Logan defending the UIWA Heritage Title against Jagger Lane. Take it right now. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So excited. Weighing 240 pounds, Jagger.
outside your lane. Interference costing him the UIWA Heritage title, but I'm sure he's looking to get a rematch in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry about the interruption earlier, but the breaking news that I spoke of is this. SSPW, or Georgia Affiliate, had a UIWA World Heavyweight title match between Challenger Chief Edekula Kula and Champion Lord Stevens. I'm here to report that we have a new, repeat, new UIWA World Heavyweight Champion, Chief Atakula Kula, a two-time champion. Congratulations to the Chief. Stay tuned to the UIWA Weekly Recap and check out the UIWA Facebook page for more updates. We want to break this to you as soon as we possibly can. Again, stay tuned to the show and the Facebook page for more updates. On the topic of Chief Atakula Kula, we have comments from his match at the OCWA Century Center. Let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, Axel Grease here backstage, South Bend Century Center, here with the former UIWA champion, Chief Atakula Kula. Chief, tonight you were tagging with uh, an interesting choice I think you made in Tone C. Um, why did you choose a man that you two have been beaten to a bloody pulp each other? Well, I think uh, everybody knows about the Taipei death match we had December 29th, nearly killed each other. One of the bloodiest matches in OCWA history. But who else would I really want for a partner than the toughest guy I've probably faced in the last couple of years, Tone C. I want somebody by my side who can take a beating and who can dish one out because, you know, we got Dark Lion and JB Payne. You know, you don't know what they're going to do. They'll, they'll stoop to any levels. The only question is... Can I trust Tone C? I think I can, you know, because like I said before, when I picked Tone C, he's always come at me straight on. He's never attacked me from behind. We might not like each other, but we do respect each other. And I, I believe that he'll have my back in this match tonight. I hope I'm right. Strong words from the former UIWA World Heavyweight Champion. Ax Grease back here, Century Center, South Bend, Indiana. I'm joined by the Libyan Nightmare, J.B. Payne, and his manager, Johnny Wild. Uh, J.B. Payne, tonight you take on two rivals in Chief Atakula Kool and Tone C. Uh, you're, you faced Chief Atakula here a couple months ago. Your thoughts on the Chief? First of all, schoolboy, let me explain something to you. With me being here in his corner, when you have something you want to ask, you ask me. You do not interrupt a star like J.B. Payne. Do we understand each other? Yes, sir. Okay. First of all, you're talking about this chief guy. Ooh, that's what he thinks about the chief. The chief couldn't make tacos at a taco stand. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. You, what did I just say? You cannot make tacos at a taco stand. What's, what does that got to do with what you just asked me? Absolutely nothing, and you understood it. This, this is what I'm talking about. The man's going to sit here and crack jokes. The fact is, J.B. Payne owns the Chief, and tonight, he's going to own more than just that. Because it's not about the message, it's not about the rewards, it's all about us. Am I right? That's right. So tonight, South Bend, Indiana, the Dark Lion, the Libyan Nightmare, and fabulous, fabulous Johnny Wild. We set the Century Center on fire, and I mean fire. Did you catch that? Fire, meaning hot. Yes. Why do we even stand here with this? I don't understand. I'm scared, ladies and gentlemen. I'm scared. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, Axel Grease back here with you with victorious Tone C. Tone C, know you're from Green Bay, Wisconsin. You wrestle here quite often. How does it feel to get a win at your home away from home here in South Bend, Indiana? Feels amazing. Green Bay, Wisconsin will always be home. But I wrestle here more than I wrestle anywhere. I love South Bend. It was an amazing feeling to hear the crowd. It was an amazing match, an amazing victory. I couldn't be happier right now. I couldn't be happier. Well, one person definitely not happy, the Vanilla Gorilla Johnny Wild made an interesting comment. I'd like to get some clarification on. He mentioned after you were victorious that Chief Atacula Kula cannot trust you, and he said he, you knew that he knew what you were talking about. Can you shed some light on that situation, those comments? You know, there's no secret. I can't stand Chief. I don't like him. We beat the heck out of each other at the end of December in a Taipei death match. Blood was everywhere. However, I took this match out of respect. Respect is all what it was about. Why? Because Chief earned my respect and I believe that I earned his in one of the, in the bloodiest match that OCWA has ever seen. So as far as us working together, trusting each other, as long as he holds up his end of the deal, I will hold up mine. Words from the champ. No comprehende es taco stan, senores y señoritas. But I definitely comprehended what Tone C had to say about his partner, Chief Atacula Kula. Though I was a little apprehensive, I could see in Tone C's eyes. I think there's more to this than meets the eye. We'll try to have more information for you as it develops. One thing to close out the show, ladies and gentlemen, the weekend of June 22nd, IROG, one of our affiliates in Michigan, who we put on shows as part of the Rockapalooza Festival in Jackson, Michigan. It's a huge opportunity, not only for IROG, but for the UIWA as well. We congratulate them on this tremendous achievement. That about does it for the show, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure if you like the show, tell a friend, tell two friends, tell those two friends, and tell 20 friends. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our Facebook page, check out our Twitter feed, and uh, check out our website as well, UIWA.net. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget the three things in life you can't live without. Love, peace, and Axel Grease. Catch you next time.